we cooking today? Well, hello and good morning. And what we're cooking today is because of something that I did last night. So if you care to follow me. In this rather unassuming little magic box. See all the smoke coming out? I have smoked some delicious haddock. Walking past the fish shop, noticed this yesterday and thought, God, that haddock looks good. A little bit of brown sugar and salt, a cure for about six or seven hours, and then it's been in the smoker overnight. When I've cured it with the salt and the sugar, it removes a lot of the moisture. Um, and then the smoke has really penetrated the meat and it's kind of tight and firm and smells utterly delicious. Cold smoked means that the meat is far away from the smoke, so it gets all the kind of wonderful smokiness, but it doesn't actually kind of cook through. So this can be eaten raw, um, like you would eat, you know, smoked trout or smoked halibut or something like that, um, or it can be cooked, and I'm gonna cook it today. I mean, that is a beautiful thing. Look at that, it's a beautiful thing. So I'm gonna have a little nibble. I'm just gonna take off, look at that. It's semi kind of waxy meat um, that tells you that the moisture has been taken out and it's smoked properly. You've got the kind of the taste of the haddock and then you've just got that wonderful you know, wood chip, smoky. There's a little bit of sweetness from the sugar. I use a light brown sugar rather than white sugar. It's really delicious. I do like something a little kind of sweet and sour and pickly to go with my haddock. So pan, some coriander seeds. When you toast these, you get a wonderful smell of kind of um, a nuttiness, but a kind of burnt orange rind kind of taste. Um, and to get the kind of full effect of that, swap those over. I'm just gonna warm those. I'm going to do a very quick pickled cucumber. So take a little handful of fresh dill. And by the way, when you keep herbs, keep them in something like this or put them in a sealable, you know, container and they'll last a hell of a lot longer um, than just bunging them in the fridge in their open pack. How do you know when they're ready? when the smell comes to the nose, and it's not quite yet. So just before that point where they start to kind of scald and smoke, I'm gonna use white wine vinegar, and I need some sugar. Okay, I can smell those toasting coriander seeds. So vinegar, and I'm probably gonna use actually most of this bottle now. By the way, if you ever pour vinegar into a hot pan, stand back, um, because the steam can really sting. Okay, some sugar, not too much. I don't want this overly sweet and I think that'll probably do it. One tablespoon of sugar. Now this is boiling. I'm gonna add a little bit of water because at the moment that vinegar mix is just a little bit on the strong side. Put your dill in. And just give everything a spin and then one surprise ingredient. This is a breakfast tea bag. Earl Grey tea works just as well. So in goes the tea bag. That tea with the dill and the coriander seeds in the vinegar and sugar is just absolutely delicious. But you don't want it to be a real kind of deep brew. You just want a hint of tea. So I'd say that is, I will have a smell, have a taste. Mm. Yeah, that's enough tea. Give it a little squeeze at the end. Okie dokie. So I don't want that to be hot, so that can just sit there and calm down. So half a cucumber and give that a peel. I quite like the stripes, so I'm not going to take it all off. I'm just going to leave a little bit of it. Cut down the middle. Get a teaspoon. I'm just taking those seeds out. Oot and then cut them really, really thin. Cucumber is good, isn't it? I love cucumbers. Also, if you're new to it, try cooking cucumbers. Really delicious. 
sweat some shallots in butter, put your cucumbers in, budge them around a bit, black pepper, a little bit of nutmeg, maybe a tiny a little bit of chicken stock and some vinegar, which you then evaporate away. And you know, with some fresh chopped dill on top, and that served next to a lovely piece of turbot, or maybe just a bit of steamed haddock or whatever, is absolutely delicious. They're kind of so often kind of just bunged in salads or stuff, but they're a great cooked vegetable. Okay, cucumber in, and then taking about a teaspoon of salt, just make sure that's kind of well massaged in. And what that'll do, the salt, like it did with the haddock, will start to draw the moisture out of the cucumbers. I don't want, they'll still be crunchy, but they'll just be a bit kind of floppier, but crunchy. Okay, and then that can go to the side. Okay, so I'm gonna make a drop scone mix, which is a kind of puffy pancake, but I'm gonna take the sugar out of it. We're gonna do a savory version, caraway. Oh God, it just smells like ouzo. It's kind of aniseedy. It reminds me of kind of drinking booze in Turkey. Um, right, or grease or somewhere, delicious. Not used that often. Brown bread made with lots of beer and black treacle with car caraway seeds in it is flipping delicious. 175 grams of self-raising flour. And I want 200 mils of milk. One egg. One teaspoon of baking powder. And then about a teaspoon of salt. Just a tiny, tiny bit of sugar in this, because it's nice. An industrial bombardment of black pepper. A little bit of Dijon mustard. Whist up. And then make a batter. And when it starts to get a little thick, add a little more. Just make sure it's all really integrated and you want a mix that's not too stiff, which this is at the moment, which should be pourable, just about pourable. When it starts to cook, it'll puff up. So it's not a flat pancake, this is a kind of puffy thing. And so when we put the haddock into it, the drops gone will rise around the, the fish. Quite often recipes come out too thick. Um, and so just don't feel as scared to just put a little bit of extra milk in or perhaps a little bit of water. Okay, so that's about right. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop that in the fridge for a sec. Another sip of weapons grade coffee. Right, I'm going to just take out this line of rib bones and that will be kept. That's tasty, I mean, that could go in a tiny, tiny little, you know, one portion, you know, haddock and potato soup. Um, it might go in some rice. I could do a little kedgeri for one. Um, it could go in a chowder with bacon and milk. So what have you got now? You've just got pure. So fillet. I've got the pure kind of fillet and just gonna cut a few more slices off. So that's raw. That's raw, but it's cured. It's like as you know, as if you were eating, you know, smoked salmon or trout or there we go. I want a little bit more chopped dill and I want a little bit of red onion. I love raw onion. I always feel it's doing me good when I eat it. That'll do. What I do now is just rinse away that initial kind of onion juice, just mellow them out a tiny bit. Sunflower oil, just a splash, that'll do. Butter. I love the taste of butter on my pancake. You'll start to see little bubbles appearing through. It's already happening on the sides here. 
you'll start to see little bubbles come through. The really important place is when you start seeing it around the middle. You can see it's puffing up all the way around the edge. It smells so good. I don't know why I'm eating raw pancake mix, but see, I get so excited. Look, that's really puffed up. I want a little bit of horseradish in my creme fraiche. Okay, so now we're gonna turn out our paddock pancake. All the cucumber goes into our pickle. Really wring it out, because you don't want to make a lovely crispy pancake all wet and soggy. That is a breakfast of champions. Or a lunch. Or a lunch, or 11s, or tea, or a midnight snack, or an early morning snack, or a traveling companion, or a distraction from work. So a little bit of the smoked, home smoked haddock, the horseradish cream, the tea pickled cucumbers, flipping delicious. And in fact, what I've just done is actually how it makes me feel when I then go out into a work day. And um, I just want to keep on going because that's very fluffy and really tasty. I love a pancake, especially if it's got crispy edges. It's got caraway in it. Smoked fish, I mean, you've got creme fraiche. I mean, who doesn't want to cover themselves in creme fraiche? Cucumbers, which are little kind of zingy punctuation marks. It's just a little party, breakfast party. Mm, I would just have them. And if you're interested in more recipes, come and visit me on Patreon. Come and support me on Patreon, where I'll be doing a Japanese mackerel special. Thank you. It's been a joy and good morning.